In this quick and simple episode, we'll be talking about how to motorize a 9-inch V-Roller kit. So we've received this question several times now, and we wanted to take the time to do a quick video to show you a few different options for motorizing the 9-inch V-Roller kit. While there's no particular right answer, just like asking how do you build a castle out of Legos, we want to give you a few quick ideas. In this first example, I'm using a planetary gear motor, running some bevel gears here uh, to drive the back shaft. It's held in place by a 22 millimeter clamping hub and powered by a LiPo battery with the JST connection. Um, I'm using a latching push button to turn it on and off. So to make plugging things in easier, I've simply soldered a male header rope uh, pin to the bottom of the push button so I can plug in my jumper wires and battery connection easily. Since the spacing is crucial in this setup, I've had to space out the bearing just a little bit by using a 3 8 inch shaft spacer to make room for this bevel gear. Now, the advantage of this setup is that it's really compact. In fact, everything is hidden inside the 9-inch channel. Um, the drawback is that the planetary gear motors are sort of loud, so this might not be the option you want to go for if you're uh, running a video camera or something of that nature. Next, we have a version that utilizes a spur gear motor attached via a clamping motor mount, which is bolted to a 90-degree dual side mount. And then we're just driving this wheel into this hub spacer to, to turn the shaft. The advantage of this setup is that it's going to be a little bit quieter. And since the spur, spur gear motors have an offset shaft, that shaft is not coming out directly from the center of the motor. It's, it acts like a cam when you turn it. So you can play around with different wheel sizes to get just the speed that you need. And then you just rotate that motor inside the clamp before you tighten it down to get just the right spacing to go up against and push on that hub spacer with just the right amount of friction. As far as the circuit goes, everything's the same in the setup except for we've moved the button off to the side. And since this is a 6 RPM spur gear motor, it's going to go really slow. So this setup would be really good for something like a time-lapse photography rig. So there you have two very simple setups for driving our 9-inch V-Roller kit with the motor. There are a lot of different ways that you could go about this problem, but we just wanted to show you a few quick examples. Thanks for watching. Control Issues is brought to you by RobotZone, inventing the parts for your ideas. And ServoCity.com, the place to go to buy the parts for your projects. If you've got questions or ideas for future episodes, send an email to tech at ServoCity.com.